everyone, I am Evelyn Suriano and I will discuss to you about the problems of implementation and plan failure. So let us define first the word implementation. When we say implementation, it's the process of translating the plan into real action. So it includes all the activities na kailangan e carried out in order to meet the objectives. Kasi ang layunin ng implementation is malutas ang isang suliranin. Pero implementation require more time rather than in planning. Next is let us define the word plan. So plan is an organized, orderly, and focused effort or a program of action to achieve a specific end. So, in planning, it requires a lot of discipline, a pagiging practical thinking, and also requires a lot of your attention. So, why do plans fail? Plans by themselves do not guarantee success. They need to be backed by focus effort. So, kahit yung mga malalaking organization, hindi nalalayo sa mga uh, problems and failures in the implementation of their plans. Kasi madalas ito ay nagre-resulta ng huge financial losses and loss of market. So, nagkakaroon ng mga ganito due to improper planning and poor execution. So, plans may fail for many reasons. These are the 10 reasons why plans fail. First is unrealistic goals. Goals must be realistic, precise, measurable, and achievable. So, unrealistic goals or lack of focus and resources. When we, uh, when you are exploring possible goals, you need to unleash, unleash imagination and ambition or put your reservation aside and dream uh, dream, big dream. So, gayon pa man, once na nakapag-decide ka na ng goal mo, uh, make sure na ito ay realistic at maaabot mo yung itinagda mong time frame. For short, in making realistic goal, use smart method, which is S for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for realistic, and C for time bound. Let's move to the second reason why the plans may fail, which is the frequent and unplanned changes to the original plan. The plan must be created in advance before it is implemented. So, yung mga frequent changes na yan sa plan during the implementation phase will lead to many problems and resource constraints. Siyempre, hindi lang tayo basta-basta nagpapalit ng mga plano kasi ang pagpaplano ay may mga steps yan at time frames. Sabi ko nga dun sa number one reason sa my unrealistic goals, kailangan gumamit ng smart method para maiwasan ang frequent or unplanned changes. Kasi when you change the plan, maraming mababago and maraming maapektuhan nito. It's like a domino effect. Pag nag-change ka, uh, pag nag-change ka ng plan, pati yung mga resource and time and so on ay mababago rin. Next is number three, unforeseen events. The plan must accommodate unforeseen events, catastrophes, and contingencies since no one can predict future. So, ang unforeseen events that happen suddenly and unexpectedly. So, bihira lang nangyayari yung mga unforeseen events na yan sa mga organization, uh, organizations operational planning. Pero, syempre, may mga side effects ito in planning. Maaaring negative or positive consequences. Tulad ng accidents, catastrophes, and act of terror. So, without backup plans and alternative solution, plans may fail. Fourth is unexpected changes in the macro environment. It is difficult to predict the political, economic, and legal changes that happen in the macro environment 
of a country or the world. So there are many factors that affects macro environment like for example in economic factors in economic factors merong two essential aspects na nakakaapekto sa sa macro environment una na diyan uh, ang company's level of production and pangalawa the decision making process ng customer in political and legal forces naman um the market develops according to the political and legal environment in various areas. Ibig sabihin, need to be up to date with such force worldwide. So, in order to be able to make the right decision, so they can often render the plans ineffective and useless. Fifth reason is the monetary and time constraints. The success of any plan depends upon the availability of time and money. The constraints of time and money are largely responsible for the failure of many plans. Lalo na ang mga nagsasangkot na mga komplikado, yung mga gumugugol ng mga gawain at malalaking budget. So pag sinabing monetary constraint, uh, it is a financial or factors that restricts the amount of quality of investment um, when we say time constraints uh, para sa project schedule for completion na naka-include dyan yung deadlines for each phase of the project at pati yung date for rollout of the final deliverable number six is lack of expertise and skills so maraming nagpi-fail ang project kapag ang organization nila ay they lose their skilled workers or when they fail to recruit experts at mga uh, they fail to recruit the knowledgeable people upang uh, magsagawa ng specialized tasks another is unrealistic expectations Many times, organization draw unrealistic plans and set unrealistic goals with an aim to save time and money. So, another reason why plans fail is unrealistic expectations. So, ang mga organization pag uh, uh, upang makasave ng time and money, uh, nagsiset sila ng mga unrealistic plans and goals para makasave ng time and money. They may also set unrealistic expectation uh, from their employees during the implementation na nagre-resulta ng confusion, loss of moral, and other problems. Next is number eight, improper planning. Sometimes plans are hastily drawn without proper identifying priority areas or setting the goals or establishing proper accountability. So, isa pa sa rason why plan fail is dahil sa poor planning. Ang poor or improper planning na yan ay it leads the project failure. So, kung, kung ang isang bagay ay hindi nag-start sa tama, magiging maling akala na isipin mo pa na magtatapos ito sa tama. Uh, minsan, ang mga problemang ito ay napapansin or uh, napapansin na sa huli or dulo ng implementation phase na nagre-resulta ng loss of money, loss of time, and effort. Let's move to the ninth reason is the lack of control and discipline. Even the best plans will fail if they are not properly implemented. So, ang mga may tungkulin sa implementation in planning ay may malaking responsibility sa kanilang balikat to make it successful. If they are not up to the mark, syempre, the plan will fail. So, last reason is the group dynamics. So, bakit nasama to sa reason why plans may fail because plans require group effort and the cooperation 
and contribution of many people. So, plan can become derailed if they do not work harmony. So, kung may mga problema sa communication o sa conflict resolution at kung may mga uh, problema sa pamumuno at motivational problems. Dahil ang pagpaplano ay nangangailangan ng sapat ng paghahanda or organized effort at maingat na pagpapatupad. Kaya kailangan ang information na napupunta sa pagpaplano ay vital para sa successful execution nito. Kasi if the information is faulty, syempre, uh, the plan will fail. So, that's why planning also requires knowledge and expertise. So, that's are the 10 reasons why plans fail. Thank you for your time and attention and thank you for listening. Bye!